Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry with Abe, and we're here with new Star Wars Legion stuff. Dun 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 dun. Uh, so you've got over here, we've got Boba Fett, mm -hmm. uh, which is a he's new a new operative. operative. So it's a new class of troops that he's yeah. the first one, not on the core book rules or anything. Uh, scout troopers, which yep. are a, a unit type, they're special forces. Yep. Um, uh, we've got the uh, rebel. Commandos, which are another unit. Yep, they're kind of their yep. counterpart. Yep, and we've got Han Solo, which is a commander expansion. Uh, so yeah, he does shoot first. He does. He that definitely is, shoots that first. That is his thing. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna jump right in. Woo! All right, Abe, we've got all of these expansions to start for Star Wars Legion. Again, this is FFG. Yeah. Fantasy Fight Games. Yep. Uh, you know, Star Wars. Where uh, Where do you want to start, man? Because I'm pretty. I'm, I like all of these. I like all of these, but well, I think, except for Boba Fett. I mean, I think you know he got killed. If by you're Han. talking about going first. It's, I mean, you're not you're not wrong. You're There's not only wrong. One option. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think Abe's right. So let's yep. check out Han Solo. We got the back of the box, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, included in here is all the stuff you need to play Han Solo, as well as his miniature. Yep. Naturally for the tabletop. And uh, yeah, we're gonna rip the box up because these new boxes. They're the fragile. They're, you can't you can't really not rip them up. No. And that's uh, okay because he's never going back in the box. He's, he's never going, going. He's going straight to the table. He's going. <laughs> Exactly. So, what do we get in here? We have the the miniature, which we'll take a look at here in a second. Mm -hmm. We got the base, obviously. Uh, we've got a little uh, commander thing. This is how to build it, essentially. Yep. Pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Pretty, yeah, pretty easy. We'll take a look at that here in a second. And then, of course, a bunch of cards. Um, we'll go ahead and bust these out real fast. Oh, punch outs are ready to go, dude. They're already punched out. Oh yeah. Look at that. All right. So punch shot these already. Yep. So we all have first. all the. There you go. <laughs> We have all the punch out stuff. We're gonna. You've I mean, seen it. You can Noth see it. Yeah, nothing yeah. really new here. Yeah, some tokens and stuff for yep. for Han. Um, let's move this. I'm gonna I'm gonna lay out these cards so we can take a, a close look because this is a commander expansion. So of course you get the uh, the oh thanks. We we of course you get the the orders. Yep. And then some upgrades as well. So all right, let me make sure we can see all this stuff. So, Abe, what do you think so far? So, I mean, I think Han's a pretty interesting character. Now, one thing I would bear in mind when we talk about Han, uh, or Han, if you're Lando, uh, uh, is that uh, they did they have announced uh, back at Gen Con the Chewbacca expansion, mm -hmm. and Han is going to be a lot better with Chewbacca on the table. For sure, so they work sure. together. How, um, can you uh, can you explain for folks at home how that works? I don't remember all the 100% details. They haven't spoiled everything yet, but they get some abilities to like protect each other, crossover, crossover, and, and some of their things stuff. feed off of each other. That's kind of uh, how the, the the rebels play in general. Is they look out for one another a yeah, more than the they, def they definitely do. So definitely keep that in mind. That if you take Han, there's a good chance you might have Chewbacca once he's out. Yeah, uh, and they are going to be more, more, more better together. So Han is kind of I mean, a mid range. You get like a Chewbacca light with duck and cover. You do definitely. <laughs> Uh, so Han kind of fits a midway role between Leia, who's not very good in combat, but is much more of a just command people thing. Right. And Luke, who's not really great at commanding people, but is going to run up there and stab you in the face with his lightsaber. I mean, he does have a lightsaber. He does have a lightsaber. So, um, so he is um, a totally, totally solid uh, ranged combat character here. Right on, right on. Um, he's got a lot of special abilities. He's got low profile, which improves his cover. Um by one. Uh, That's cool. Yeah. If you have, you do have to have light cover already, but that means a lot of times he's taking out two shot, two hits from the whenever the enemy shoots him. It's pretty solid. It is definitely solid. He's got gunslinger, so he's. You'll notice that his base attack is not crazy. It's two red dice. Yeah. Um, with a range of one to two. Now the pierce two is pretty great because, as you can see on the back here, uh, he cancels two defense dice. Yeah. So basically, which is solid. Yeah. If he hits you, he's he's wounding you. You can't save against someone. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. Uh, and then, but it's only two dice. You're like, that's that's okay, right? Yeah. But then his gunslinger ability lets him, after he shoots, uh, he can perform an additional attack against that target. Oh, so he can shoot twice. He can shoot twice. Not only does Han shoot first, but he fires twice. But he fires twice. He has to target different people, but this makes him really good at clearing out infantry. Yeah. Because when he hits them, they can't save against him, basically, and he's going to be taking out one or two every turn. <laughs> Greener uh, should learn. <laughs> and then you can, you can butt even better, he's got sharpshooter one which lets him decrease the defender's cover. Ooh. So he increases his cover and decreases the enemy's cover. Uh, and then he's got Uncanny Luck 3, which whenever he's defending, he can reroll three of his dice. Wow. Uh, so uh, how many defense dice does he have? Well, though? you get one per hit. So you get, okay, so you he get has, one base. Yeah, so he per has hit. A, per hit. Yeah. So he has a white defense dice, which is the worst defense dice. It only saves um, like 
a third of the time. Sure. Uh, but he does get to get three rerolls. He's three rerolls. Which is pretty great. He does yeah. have surges for both offense and defense dice. Very nice. Which makes him more effective at both of those. Yeah. Uh, he's got six health, so decently strong, and two courage. He can kind of run away if he feels like it. Yeah, but, and I mean, he's got three uh, three brawl, too, so yeah. he's not terrible, but he's definitely he's not, not, three. That's not his... I mean, they're white. He doesn't want to get into combat. No, no, no. Um, but, he, you can, know, he can fight a little bit. He can. He can definitely he's not, he's not slap slouch, someone out. But he's no. not... Uh, yeah. Um, and then he's got the standard upgrades um, here. So, right. Let's uh, let's talk about the orders real fast, because I think this is really where where Han shot. Where Han, most. yeah. So uh, I mean, obviously, we've got the Han shot first card, which is sorry about the mess. Yeah. Which is a zero pip card. Yeah, it's the first one in the game. It the is. only one. In the it's game. the only one in the game, and probably going to be the only one ever. Yeah. Um, it activates Han, so it goes before one pip card, so it goes first. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Oh, not. that's where the name comes from. Yeah, wink, wink, yeah, nod, nod. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, it, when you're building your deck, this counts as a one pip because you have to sure, have two have one to, pips, yeah. two, two, two pips, two, three pips, and a four pip. Um, and then uh, when Han Solo is issued an order from this, he gains one aim token and one dodge token. Cool. So he gets a lot better already from this, and you're going to get to go first. Now, it's important to remember you don't have to activate Han first. Yeah, yeah. But his side gets initiative, basically, because that's has pretty a cool. Pip. Uh, Reckless Diversion is his two pip card. It lets him activate him and a trooper unit. Uh, and then when enemy unit performs an attack, it must attack a trooper unit that has a face of order token, if able. Okay, so it's got to attack the unit that was ordered, essentially. Or, yeah, yeah, or Han, because he's a trooper unit, too. Right. Um, so it makes you, you can be like, oh, I'm super in cover, and I've got... You gotta uh, shoot me, Yeah, uh -huh. you gotta shoot me, huh? It's a reckless diversion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's that's pretty great, um, and that's for the entire turn. So nice. And, and mind you, you can flip over other if you have a way of yeah, yeah, other yeah, orders. Yeah. There's ways of, of doing some crazy stuff with that. Uh, and then lastly, his three pip card is change of plans. Uh, yeah. When this card is revealed, you may discard it to return an opponent's command card to their hand. If you do return to the select command card setup, the opponent cannot select the command card that was returned to their hand. Oh. So basically. You cancel whatever card they were doing. They get it back. They get to use it. They can use it. They next can use it later. Turn. Yeah, but they're, they're going to have to choose a new turn. You get to choose a new card. As far as if I'm reading this correctly, I think that's how they ruled it. Wow. Um, actually, I don't know. Return the select uh, commander step. Yeah. I'm not 100 percent certain that probably needs an F. I'm not certain that FAQ. That. When this card's really, you may discard it, turning your opponent's command card to their hand. If you do return. Uh, select command okay, set. you met. So yeah, yeah, you met. Yeah. So you can keep this card, which does let you activate Han in two units. So it's yeah. not bad on its own. Or you can discard it to cancel the enemy's card. Okay, and then pick again. And then pick again. So if they picked one that you're like, oh, I was not expecting yeah, that one. Let's or, try that again. That's the really bad one. I really need them not to go not to go first this turn. Yeah. Something like that. Or they're activating way too many units. Yeah. Wide open. Let me can't. Yeah. Or you know, the, I, I think probably the classic one you'd see is like this is the one that's gonna let like Luke or Vader go twice that turn. Sure. And you're oh, like, yeah. they need to not go twice this turn because yeah. I need to kill them. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much all Han's cards. Yep. And I just want to point this out. In the time we've gone through all of these cards, I have put together the model. Um, I don't have any glue. This is this is not glued. But that's Han built already. And you can see here, pretty cool looking model. It uses the uh, the FFG uh, kind of lock and key system, is what I've called it in yeah. the past. Uh, all of the bits, it's a four part model. All of the bits are have a have a lock piece, which is like a peg, and then a keyhole piece yeah and they fit in a very particular manner and again if you were, if you were going to paint this model you don't have to assemble it but there you go i thought that was pretty cool yeah totally right. decent model uh, uh and i do like the pose yeah it's 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 the the han you know pretty, pretty close yeah let's go ahead and check out the rebel commander thing. i realized they just dumped out all the contents on the table <laughs> for the rebel commanders everything comes in baggies from ffg yeah. i kind of forgot that <laughs> um, it's kind of handy because uh, you have everything divided up. There's no sprue. There's no cleanup. Yeah. Um, real fast, too. You've got the uh, the instruction manual here for really just a sheet to how mm -hmm. to build all these guys. And there's uh, seven models. Seven of them, which yeah. we'll go over why that's important yeah. in a minute. Let's move these to the side. Uh, matter of fact, I'll start opening these up and lay out these. Uh, Abe, if you want to talk about kind of what they do. Yeah. So, I mean, Rebel Commanders are a Special Forces unit. Uh, yeah. which means they are a trooper infantry unit, but they're a little more elite than the base rebel troopers, and they do have a couple uh, cool things going on with them. Yeah. First off, tokens. Tokens are cool. Right? Uh, and you'll notice that they do actually come with new tokens here, because yeah. they do have some uh, new abilities here. So these are going to be uh, their... Uh, proton charge? Proton charge tokens. Protons. Yep. Gotcha. Uh, so they've 
that's a new token, so you do need those tokens. Those are yeah. something to write home about, actually. <laughs> and um, just real quick, here are the different options. And Abe, you go over these while I try yeah. to put together some of these here. Uh, oh, wrong direction. I'm going to put together some of these here models real fast because yeah. they are super easy to build. So what's cool about the Rebel Commandos is that they actually come, uh, there's two options you have for taking them. You can take uh, like a strike team. Uh, you can take a strike team, which is two models. Okay. Uh, it's it's one model base, and then you have to equip a heavy weapons trooper to the unit. Right. That's the little two man. That's the it's two like man. A sniper. It could be like a sniper or a suicide like demolition charge squad. However you want to do it. So they can come as a two man squad, which is called the strike team. That's pretty cheap. Uh, or you can make it as the full larger squad, which is four models, which can take a fifth model. Um, what I really like about this is that they gave you seven models in this box. Yeah. So you can take both. This is the first box that actually oh. gives you two units out of it. You're right. I didn't think about that. Yeah. That's, a, that's a really cool thing. Uh, point. Yeah, actually, I, it would have been really easy, I think, for them to give you six and give you the, the four base models and then the two the two heavy weapons that you get and be like, you get to choose from the field. Yeah. Um, but they were really awesome about it and they give you an extra basic infantry guy in the box. Yep. So that you can field both units, and that's really cool. I could have seen, yeah, I could see some other companies have uh, doing that to force you to buy two boxes. Right, and it wouldn't even be un unrealistic, right? They'd say you have here's all the models you need to field the unit. Yeah, like, and then it's not wrong. It's not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but they gave you extra, so you actually do get two units out of this. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, the units are very similar, uh, except that the one of them is four models with an, with the option to take a heavy weapon trooper, okay. and the other one is one model and has to take a second heavy weapon trooper. Okay. Um, other than that, they're pretty much identical. The individual models are, I want to say, 16 points or so a pop. Uh, it's 60 points for four, or 16 for the one plus the heavy weapon. Um, so the special rules they get, they have low profile, which... Uh, you saw on Han as well, but it's when they're defending. If they have light cover, they improve it by one. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. So that gives them better cover. They've got Scout 2, which is a really cool ability. After they deploy, you can perform a speed 2 move. Okay. So they get a free move before the game. Uh, and then they have Sharpshooter 1, which is when they're performing a, t a range attack, they reduce the defender's cover by one. Yeah, which we saw on Han as which well. Which we saw on Han as yeah. well, yep. Uh, so Because these, these are the Rebel Commandos. These guys are a little bit better trained, a little bit mm -hmm. better equipped. Um, than your standard trooper. Definitely. And, I mean, these are Endor. These are the ones you saw on Endor. Han's in his Endor uniform, so they're clearly right. meant to be to go together here. Yeah. Um, there's some synergy there's there. There's definitely some synergy Built in, there. yeah. Yeah. Uh, and these guys, so these guys are pretty cool. If you put them in cover, uh, they're going to be real tough. They're going to be real tough, especially if you're yeah. giving them dodge actions. And if they get dug like in, that. they're going to be hard. Yep. They're going to be real hard to move out. Uh, Stats-wise, like most infantry, or most rebel infantry, they've got one hit point, and they've got a white defense dice. Yeah. Uh, they do have two courage, so they're a little more resistant to morale yeah. than regular troops. They will still run, but it takes it's a little bit more. It's definitely harder. Yeah. Uh, and with some of the new, with a lot of the buffs you'll be able to give them, especially with something like Leia around, yeah. it's also, uh, it'll be really hard for them to run. Yeah. Um, they've got uh, offensive and defensive surges. Though yeah. Their offensive surge just converts to a hit, not a crit, um, but it's still good. Yeah. They have the same blaster as the regular troopers, so it's a white range one to three black dice attack. And then they've got one uh, attack in combat. And they have a lot of upgrades. They can take a heavy weapon trooper. They can take um, like the elite training, the comm, the equipment, and the grenade upgrade. All right. Um, so a couple of their abilities that they have. Um, the duck and cover, I think, is a really great one for them. So when defending against a ranged attack, you can, uh, during the apply dodge and cover system, you can gain uh, suppression one. Yeah. Which gives them cover one, which they could then transport with their low profile to cover two. Yeah, so, so that's a built-in... Yeah, so even yeah. if they're just out in the open, yeah, they can be like, oh, I'm going to duck and cover. I'm out of here. Yep, <laughs> and that'll that'll be great. Uh, and they've got the two head weapons options that they can get. Yep. So they've got the DH-4447 Sniper. Uh, it is a range one to infinity attack. <laughs> It can uh, shoot starships down. It, it can. Uh, it gives you a black dice and a white dice, so it's a slightly better than their basic weapon. Yeah, which it's, not, is, yeah. it's not like a crazy weapon, but it is slightly better. Yeah. Um, you, you can only take it with the commandos, and it has the ability, two, two abilities, uh, high velocity, which is when attacking. If each weapon in your attack pool has high velocity, the defender cannot spend dodge tokens. Nice. 
Uh, and then it has pierce one, so when you're attacking, you cancel to one of the defense dice. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, so this, I think, is really definitely meant to be taken as part of the strike team. Yep. Because you can take the two-model squad. Which, yeah, and then everybody's got the... And just and you just and all you have is this guy shoot, right? You right, Split right. fire. You can also split fire with, with individual weapons. So he wants to target his own his own target all the time. Um, but you can put that two-man little that two -man little sniper team there. Yeah. Uh, and he can pick off... Uh, you know, one model a turn, basically. So yeah. that, that's pretty cool. Uh, then they also have the Proton Charge Saboteur, who has a really... It's a pretty complex mechanic, actually. There's a whole set of rules for it, but basically <laughs> uh, he can place the little charge tokens and then explode them. Yeah. Uh, they they will do uh, a red and two white dice. So which is kinda, no joke. Which is no joke. He kind of wants to run around and, and he yeah. can kind of plant them. And they can stay around on the table, so you can kind of plant them on objectives and be like, yeah, yeah sure, come get Go take objectives. that objectives and see what happens. Uh, right, so, so he's pretty cool. Um, I think because when it blows up and hits everybody at range, at range one, uh, it hits. Or is it? It's the blast. Oh, the full blast rules. Effect one. Uh, so, so the full rules for that are going to. They're on the instruction sheet. They are on the instruction. So when charge uh, or condition token detonate, detonates, perform a separate attack against each unit, friend, and enemy that the token has line of sight to. Using the range attack dice, conversion chart, weapon keyword on the card. Uh, so it will hit every enemy within, or every unit within range one of it. Yeah, so it's it can detonate, and that's, again, not a, it's not a uh, uh, super powerful attack. And it's not it's, crazy. But yeah. it is, it can add up quickly. It can add up quickly. It also does have, uh, it converts surges to crits. Right. Um, so, I mean, you have those sitting around, and you can definitely, yeah. um, you know, Hit enemy units and, and make them pay, and then you get your regular attacks too. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, pretty pretty cool little abilities. They get to do some fun stuff, uh, even if you don't really want to bother with much of that. Mm -hmm. They are basically they're going to be an upgraded version of your basic troopers, and nice. they've got some pretty cool models. Yeah, and actually, uh, I've already put them all together. Yeah. So let's wow. just all right. move these to the side real fast. Again, uh, same same lock and key system. So here's your proton charge yep. tour guy. I'm uh, just going to lay them all out here. Uh, I really like uh, this guy here. He's got the kind of full cape. Uh, yeah. And I think he's yeah. uh, Duros or Bith? I'm not sure. Now, I, I do want to say one thing real fast. I ha These are not glued together. Yep. They're put together kind of crudely. Uh, but <laughs> I put them together and the entire time it was talking. They go together really quickly. From a modeling standpoint, anybody can do this. Anybody can do it. Uh, you get some glue. <laughs> take it easy on the glue. But you can yeah. clearly put these together. And, and if you want to paint them up. Very easily. There's the. Uh, How could you yeah. not want a Mon Calamari sniper? Like, That's this, just. Cool. This was a thing I never knew I wanted until I saw this, right. and I'm in love with that. It's a, a great model. Again, I, one of the things I really love that FFG has done with the Rebel Troops is putting aliens into all the squads. Yeah. So I love that there's two aliens in this squad now. Yeah, it's a, definitely, uh, definitely. Which is which is really great. I think. Uh, I hope we continue to get more of that kind of thing. I think it's cool. it's really great. So this is a, a fun little unit. Let's go ahead and take a, let's go ahead and take a look at the dark mirror of this unit, oh, the Scout Troopers. Yes. All right, I've jumped out the contents of I've opened I've I put out the uh, the tokens here, pulled those, them out. Those good works. Would you say you were you were scouting ahead to find this? I was, I was. Yeah. So uh, we've got these tokens again. They have landmines. Yep. So that's their kind of counter sonic, mechanic. Sonic charges. Well, wow. they're landmines. Uh, they're all in the bag still, so we're going to do the same thing. Let's see if I can do this in the same time. Uh, but here are the uh, cards that are also included, and they get an extra upgrade. Ooh, we'll take that. So, Abe, go over that, and then, of course, uh, you get the instructions to With put them all the together. Yeah. So, so uh, as, as we mentioned, the Scout Troopers are very much the Dark Mirror, the Imperial version of the Rebel Commandos. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're very similar. Just like them, you can either take them as a Strike Team, which is a model, and a uh, additional Heavy Weapon Trooper, or you can take them in a four-man squad. Um, they also cost the same points. Yeah, uh, and have very similar upgrades to these the um, troopers. In fact, the deck and cover HQ upgrade and emergency stims upgrades are the exact same as coming the other one. Bingo. Uh, we already talked about those, uh, and then um, their rules are pretty similar. Their stats are pretty similar, except for really one key difference. I would yeah. say. Yeah. Um, camera there. So they uh, also have low profile, yeah, uh, which lets them take cover. Uh, they have Scout One, rather than um, rather than Scout Two. But they do have slightly more armor, right? Uh, they actually have the same armor. Oh, yeah. I thought they had less. Uh, they're just as good at scouting. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, they're actually they're worse at scouting than the Rebel Troopers. 
They have... Oh, I know what it is. They have less armor than their counterparts. Yes, they have less armor than Imperial kind. But I think their guns are a little bit better. Their guns are, are, are possibly better. Definitely. Yeah. They're, uh, uh, they get more shots at closer range. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, they have Scout 1. They have Sharpshooter 1, just like the Rebels. Um, just like the Rebels, they've got white defense dice, one hit point, two courage. They do not have an offensive surge. Interesting. They do have a defensive surge. But as Adam pointed out, their big difference is that they have their holdout blasters, their EC-17 holdout blasters, which uh, are actually kind of similar to the fleet trooper blasters that they have. Mm -hmm. uh, they are only range one to two, so they're shorter range, but they have two black dice. Which is uh, no joke. Which is definitely no joke. Black, yeah. black dice is a great dice, and having two of them can be really deadly. So this squad... Uh, when they can get in close range. Yeah, I think that was the big trade-off for these guys versus yep. some other options is is the blaster was really good. It's is definitely that. So they can get up and really light up a squad. Yeah. Uh, then they do have two heavy weapon upgrades, just like the uh, Rebels. They've got the sniper. They have their sniper rifle, yep. which is the DLT-19X sniper. Uh, it also has range 1 to infinity. <laughs> um, though it has uh, a two black dice attack. But Abe, does it go beyond infinity? You know, like infinity and beyond? No, it can only go to infinity. Only to infinity, all only right. Only to infinity. It's so, a hard limit there is infinity. It's a very hard limit. So Buzz Lightyear will be able to survive. Because <laughs> <laughs> he'll be like, I'm out of range. I'm in a different yeah. franchise, sucker. Yep. <laughs> well, it's all it's all Disney now, right? Well, it's still a different franchise. It's true, it's true. It's true, yeah. For now. For now. <laughs> For now. Crossover we never know we wanted. Yeah, I'm Toy totally Story. Good. And Star Wars. Is there not? I mean, Toy Story Two is basically just Star Wars. I right? mean, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disagree. Like, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, so it, it does have two black dice, which means it's a little better than the black and white dice that the Rebel Sniper gets. Yeah. Uh, it similarly has the high velocity rule and the Pierce One rule, so it's uh, a really great to sit there and snipe. I really like the idea of taking these in the in the strike teams. Uh, and just sitting back and uh, sniping with them. Interestingly, I don't see anything that means you can't move and fire with these. So, Ooh. they're not like a... Uh, doesn't have like a heavy disadvantage or something? Or? No, it doesn't have the like a mobile Ooh. Uh, ability. So, I mean, I guess it's just a sniper rifle, right? It's not like it's a giant a... missile launcher. Right, right. Yeah, yeah quick scope, dude. Yeah. Just 360 no scope, come on. That's some scout troopers. That's some scout troopers. They went to the, you know, they went to the shooting range more. Definitely. Uh, I've lost a head. Oh, oh no! Disaster. Adam I've dropped. Has, Adam I've has dropped ruined a bit. Everything. I've, I've lost and that's a gray bit on a gray floor. Uh, oh no! So that's gone Keep forever. Keep going. It's, it's pretty much. Uh, pretty much. Yep. Uh, so they also have the Sonic Charge Saboteur, which is their version of the Proton Charge Saboteur. Yeah. How does that one? Uh, I mean, it works very similarly. Rather than a red dice and two white dice, it has a red and a black dice, which I personally like better. I think. Yeah, um, I like the ability to have that that slightly better because it, it's a that's a similar is it a similar effect or is it it's, a slightly it's, it's it's pretty it's pretty much a similar effect. Uh, you can place the charge and you can blow them up, uh, and it, it, it instead of having impact, it has suppressive. Okay, so it is better at taking out infantry, ah. whereas the proton charge is better at hurting vehicles. Right, right. Uh, which actually fits the roles of the two armies good because the. Imperials are mostly going to be fighting. The Rebels have more infantry, so the Imperials building things to fight infantry makes sense. Uh, whereas the Reb Imperials have a lot more vehicles, uh, so the Rebels building things to fight them makes sense. Um, yeah, no, it's a good counter. It's, it's good... definitely, it's definitely a good thing. The one thing that I just find weird when you look at these two, the Imperial sniper and the Rebel sniper. Yeah, is the Imperial sniper just seems better. The the exact same rules as if the Imperial sniper has a better dice. Slightly better, right? Yeah, and maybe same, that. Maybe and the yeah. same point cost. Uh, they have the same armor. Maybe this is the difference in the in, scout in the scout ability. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I want to get close with my sniper rifle. Definitely. I mean, that's how I roll. Yeah, right? uh, I mean, it's how not else a, you're gonna get a no scope? It's true. It's true. He's taking a hit. All right, so doesn't make a ton of difference um, either way. Miniature time. Miniature time. I've already finished them all again. Uh, kind of. Kind of. Unfortunately. This guy is the uh, the the landmine specialist here. I've, yep. I've dropped his head on the floor. I'll find it after we start filming. I promise. But uh, again, put all of these guys together in the few minutes it took Abe to go through the rolls. So, That's a pretty cool sniper rifle. Yeah, I like, pretty cool models. I like, I like the model. Scout troops are always cool. Yeah. Um, Actually, I like. I really like some of these poses too. And again, some of yeah. these are popping off because they're not glued. But you can kind of see how the pegs go together. Table. Popping up, <laughs> but they they have some they have some cool poses. They're able to do some cool things with that 
the lock and key system. They so, really are. Yeah. Uh, All right. I also think it's great because you have the scout, the scout bikes. Uh, yeah. The speeder bikes. Yeah, the speeder so, bikes that, that kind of you know, go with it. That yeah. go really well with this. You could easily. You could do a whole theme force, man. You definitely could do a whole theme force. Man. Um, 501st Legion, right? There you Andor. go. Uh, and I think it makes a lot of sense because uh, these guys are pretty good compliments to them. So cool. we've got one last guy. And I'll be honest, be before we get to digesting him, for a thousand years. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not, a, uh, I'm not a Boba Fett fan. No, no. You, uh, a, not, not, you, not, you, you a Jango Fett boy? Ne neither. The original Mandalorian. Neither. Uh, again, this is nothing to do with Star Wars Legion at all. He's, yeah. probably, he's actually really cool in the game. I just think Boba Fett's a chump because a blind Han Solo blind took Han him Solo. out. Yeah. I mean, so. it's the world's force, right? <laughs> I mean, we've seen it's, it's, we've seen several, blind dudes. Blind dudes, like that's the most they're the most deadly people in Star Wars, right? It's true. Yeah. Abe is not wrong, folks. Abe is not wrong. Who's All right. the what's the Mandalorian from from Kotor? Uh, I'll check after the cut. Yeah. All right, we got Boba Fett, and uh, we also oh, we found, uh, found the head. Found his head, folks. Adam was, brought me his head on a I brought platter. On the head, brought the head of him. Uh, Boba Fett. Uh, so he's not as cool as Candorous Ordo. Boom! The Mandalorian from KOTOR. The original, well, not the, the original. The OG OG, but, sort of. Yeah. One of the a thousand years ago. Before the thing. Anyway. 10,000 10, years ago? Something like that. Right. It's KOTOR, man. It's KOTOR. How much of that is canon, so I don't even want to get into it. They don't want to get into <laughs> they it. They don't want to get into it. <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> so there's the uh, instructions, and Boba Fett's kind of cool, because he, he does have like this cool flight stand. I think he's the most with. complicated infantry model they've made. Yeah. Th this guy has more bits than the Imperial com uh, than the Imperial Scout Troopers did. No, definitely. I mean, <laughs> he's got... You can kind of see here, just yeah. assembly-wise. He, so. might, he might be the most complicated non-ATST model in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because seriously, these models go together real quick. So yep. I'm going to try to assemble this guy. I don't know if I'm going to finish in time. I here, don't know. Yet, we'll see. You lay those cards out. He, might, also, yep. he also comes with, with tokens. So um, lay those cards out. I'm going to get started on the old Boba Fett sir here. So Boba with Fett his rocket jet uh, is a bounty hunter. I know he works for the dark side, so he is an Imperial yep. um, for now. Forever. I mean, Just we'll kidding. see if there's a scum scum villainy, villainy or something maybe. at some point. Pure speculation on our part, folks. Definitely pure speculation, but they have announced, you know, they're doing Clone Wars, so we are going to get more. We yeah. are going to get more factions. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. as a operative, uh, he allows you to take command cards, but they only benefit him. Um, so he is definitely uh, like the single man killing machine. I want to run around. He wants to run around and fight people. Uh, he's expensive. He's 140 points. Dang! Uh, he has a bunch of different abilities. So he has Jump 2, which lets him jump around and fly when he moves. Uh, he has a move of 3. Uh, we got a crisscross fan. He's, That's old school. <laughs> yeah. uh, greatest, probably, his one of his best things is he has Arsenal 2, which yeah. means he can attack twice every turn. Nice. Or attack with two weapons when they Okay, turn. okay. Um... Uh, he has Bounty, which is a special rule that he has as a bounty hunter. Uh, after he sets up, he places a victory token on one of the enemy commanders or an uh, enemy operative. And if you defeat the unit with the victory token, you get the victory token. Uh, if you have victory tokens, yeah, you gain that token. So you can get some, po some extra points for killing enemy commanders, basically. That's a mission thing. Okay. Uh, he has uh, Impervious which is an interesting rule. Uh, when he's defending, if the attack pool has Pierce X, so normally Pierce says, whatever the number is, it's going to cancel that many defense dice. On the yeah, yeah. Successful defenses, not defense dice, successful defenses. Yeah. So Impervious adds an extra number of defense dice to his defense equal to the Pierce. It's that Mandalorian armor, dude. Yeah, it's that Mandalorian armor. So it doesn't cancel Pierce. He's not immune to it. He's not immune to damage, but, but it definitely will help. He gets extra dice. Yeah. And so, you know, if he normally was going to roll two dice and you have Pierce two, so you're like, like, oh, even, like if, Han. even if you make both your dice, I'm still going to ignore those. Well, he's now going to get two extra dice. So he's going to roll four. So he's going to have to get like four successes to survive, but it makes it possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rather well, than it, it, it's really designed like, against those guys that have Pierce one or something. It's like definitely that. designed against stuff like that. Yeah. Um, it, it's going to be big help there. He also has Sharpshooter two. Uh, so he can reduce the defender's cover by two. Which, again, he's a good is, counter to, to yeah. a certain other uh, scum guy. So. Yep. Uh, he then has five hit points and three courage, so he's tough. Uh, he also has a red defense dice, which is good defense dice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he's going to be hard to bring down. Yeah. Uh, couple that with having a defensive surge as well as an offensive surge to crits. Yeah. It's pretty great. Uh, and then weapons-wise, uh, he can punch you with his boot spikes. So boot he can spikes. kick you with his boot spikes for two red dice, which is a good... Yeah. Attack. Uh, then he's got wrist rockets, which are distance one to two. Yeah, yeah. Two black dice and impact one. 
Uh, then he's got his Carbine, which is Distance 1 to 3, which is 2 Black Dice and Pierce 1. So remember, he can fire both of those in every turn. Right, so he again, he's going to be pumping out the jams. Yeah. Or, uh, then he's got his Command Cards. Yeah. Which, basically, all of these are going to add a weapon. To so, use. real quick, too, he is he is not a commander. He is an operative. Yes. Right? So, the, these command cards go in the pool as well? Or how yes. Is that all so, work? you get to pick them instead of basically taking regular command cards. So okay. They act just like your other command cards, but you'll notice they only affect him. Oh. So, rather than he's benefiting... He's a selfish he's operative. He's a selfish operative, yes. Okay. Um, so... Uh, one of the things you'll probably, you might see is instead of taking the generic command cards, which give no benefit, they just let you activate troops. Oh, you, you swap would, these you out. Take these, something like that. Okay, okay. Um, so his one pip one is the Whipcord Launcher, yep. uh, which lets him perform moves while engaged with a unit that has one or more immobilized tokens. And if I recall correctly, this, this picture was taken shortly before he was slaughtered. Shortly before his death, yeah. yes. <laughs> Very shortly. Um, and then during what? his activation, he gains uh, exhaust... Uh, the, or, or, an action as an action, he can choose an enemy trooper in range one of line of sight, and he gains two immobilized tokens and two suppression tokens. Yeah, he just locks him down. He locks you down, suppresses you, and then he can also just fly away from them. Yeah. Uh, so he can be like, like goodbye. Uh, yeah. So that one's great. Uh, then he can also, for two pips, he can add his flame projector. Yeah. Which is his flamethrower. Uh, he activates Boba Fett, and then during his activation, he gains a new weapon, which is range one. It's a flamethrower. Or melee. So it's melee or Ooh. range one. Yeah, and it does blast cool. and spray. Brass and spray and one red dice. So that's going to hit every enemy model yeah. in the unit. Or it gets a number of dice equal to the number of models in the unit within range of him. Uh, yeah, yeah. And has blast, so they ignore cover. So that can be great. And remember, he can combo that with another weapon of his. Yeah. Uh, so all of these are going to get basically... These ones are basically going to get from three weapons. He can pick two of them to use. It's pretty good. Which is pretty great. Yeah. Uh, and then lastly, he can get his uh, Z6 jetpack rocket launcher. Which gives him a weapon, which is a range three to four, yeah. three red dice, blast, and impact two. And again, he can combo that with. He the can other combo weapons. that. Uh, yeah. So that one's probably going to be uh, the only downside is he can't target the same thing as his wrist rocket. Yeah. Because uh, which would be the one you really want to do to to, to just blast through armor, because they can't be in range. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, but he can't take, you know, a five dice attack with two black, three red, uh, blast, impact, two, and pierce, which is pretty seems, solid. Seems which is pretty, pretty solid. solid. Uh, We've seen Emergency Sims and Duck and Cover. We have so definitely what, seen what does Hunter do? Uh, Hunter is actually pretty great. It's uh, an upgrade that you can take. Uh, while attacking a wounded trooper unit during the roll attack dice step, you can gain an aim token. Yeah. So, and unless you re-roll uh, uh, two, 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 yeah. two, two, two dice. Two dice, yeah. So... Uh, that makes him really deadly, especially once he's yeah. injured an enemy, so he's going to follow them to their death. Right, and speaking of to their death, I finished Boba Fett as he falls into the Sarlacc pit. Um, now, I do notice one thing. This is one of the rare models that actually does require glue um, yeah. from FFG. So not only, they have these little, uh, uh, they look like, I thought they were grenades or something, but they're little flame jets. Yep. And these are designed to go on the backpack, the little uh, jets on the back here. So you you actually do glue those. There's mm -hmm. not. This is the one few <laughs> things that don't have the the you know the peg the system. Peg system yeah. And then you also uh, would glue the flight stand thing to his yeah. back. There's actually a slot right there for the flight stand to go in there. So um, it's one of the few models that needs glue. It is, and it's probably one of their best infantry models. Yeah, like, it's, it's a, a really cool. Po and I'll be fair. I don't. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the Fet, mm -hmm. but I do respect the model. No, it looks really cool. Uh, they definitely upped their game. I think with. With that, uh, yeah. it's, it's a cool post, and it's both complicated, so you can see the trade-off uh, between more complex bottles and cooler poses, cooler things like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, that's Boba Fett. Pretty cool. Let's hop out for we get. Boba Fett. Those were the new Star Wars Legion expansions. Again, we range from the new commander with Han Solo mm -hmm. to the new operative with Boba Fett, and then of course uh, more troopers. Uh, pretty good selection here, Abe. Definitely. Uh, I gotta ask. Out of all of these, do you have like a particular favorite, like game changing wise? I think the biggest one as a game changer is probably going to be Boba Fett because yeah. it's a new operative class. So that's an entirely new class of troops that we're yeah. going to see. Um, both uh, Han Solo is going to be cool, but we've seen leader classes. He's, he's a commander, yeah. He's a commander. He's a, he's a different commander than than Luke. Definitely Lea, right, but and he's and he's and he definitely suits a certain play style. Right, but right, with Boba right. Fett being this kind of unique new class, mm -hmm. uh, that's really going to change things up. I think uh, both of these guys are pretty similar. Um, 
to yeah. the, their, their combat know, the roles Re- and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, the Rebel and the Imperial version of the Special Forces. Yeah. They'd definitely be cool. Uh, more infantry and more different infantry is always great. I really like their ability to be filled in either the like the, the full teams, like the little sniper squads. Exactly, you yeah. Can take, you can take them as two-man squads, so that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, something we haven't seen in Legion before. Exactly. Um, but I think definitely as far as like game change or meta change or something like Boba Fett, the that's operatives. probably going to be the big one. Yeah, as we see more and more operatives roll out, more and more units roll out too, the mm-hmm. game's just getting getting bigger and larger in a good way uh, that adds a lot of diversity to the play styles and Definitely. options and just, just uh, opens up the game it opens up the games and one of the important things again is like the command cards are really important yeah this. and because now you can pick from command cards from your operatives or one or your one to two commanders yeah suddenly you're like i got to pick like six of these but now i have like 12 choices to yeah, pick from. yeah uh that's pretty big pretty big meta changes are all around so Definitely. that's all of it uh, all the stuff for star wars legions i'm adam harry I'm Abe. We're both from Belva Souls. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.